What is up guys, Zach Scott here with a code stream. I've never really done a code stream before, but welcome to this code stream, the Resident Evil Showcase uh, featuring Resident Evil Village. And uh, as you can see, uh, I am basically, I, I've, I've grabbed onto their stream and it's gonna play soon within my stream. That's how it works. And so I'm a huge fan of the Resident Evil series. You know, I, I cover all the main games on my channel and uh, way back before I even started my channel, I did a Resident Evil 4, uh, I called it a weapons analysis guide. And that was uh, that was way back when, that was way back when, and you can find it on Game Facts. I was such a huge fan of Resident Evil 4, I still am. One of my favorite games of all time. And uh, so, when Capcom asked me to do a co-stream for Resident Evil, uh, this Res Resident Evil showcase here, Resident Evil Village, um, I said yes, and here I am. I don't know how long this lasts. <laughs> I've never done a co-stream before. It wasn't that hard to set up, but welcome everyone, welcome members. Chivalrous Tube, been talking to you lately. What's up, dude? And Eyes Wide Open is here. <laughs> I'm official, <laughs> yeah, official Capcom streamer right there. Indeed. And uh, let's see, so thanks for the super chat, by the way. We got a super chat from Crown Boss. Did it pop up on here? I don't even know if it did, but I heard it come through. Uh, let's see, maybe I can... Boom! Is it still here? I don't know. Anyway, but I heard it come through. Thank you for your support. Uh, so hello everyone. This is starting super soon. It's been a while, why hammy? And, uh, I'm great, Ch Chiva. Chiva. <laughs> the boy884 is here as well. Get all the members in here. And yeah, I'll be playing this with Ashley. Ashley loves playing Resident Evil games with me. Um, I last played, you know, Resident Evil 2 and 3. Before that was 7. Is that the order it went in? 7, then 2, then 3. With the remakes. I really enjoyed the remakes. They were great. So, um, let's see what else. Xanator is here. Hey, buddy. What's going on, Xanator? In just two minutes, the stream will start. All right, it's like Chibi, but instead of a B, it's V, Zach Scott, lol. Okay. Thanks, Chiva. Uh, so, let's see. What do we got going on? We got, like, what, a minute left? A minute 40? All right. The thing about doing co-streams is I don't really know. I don't really know, like, when to comment. When to not comment, you know? Is my stream up and running? Yeah, it is. <laughs> of course it is. That's why I see the chat right here. Thanks for being here, by the way. How do I share this with someone? Share... Here we go. That way everyone can jump on in and watch. Let me tweet it. I, I should tweet this out, right? I'm co-streaming the Resident Evil Showcase. Boom. At RE Games. Boom. It's tweeted. It's done. So, hope you guys, uh, hope you guys are in for the ride. Whatever this is all about. Thank you for the super chat. What was that? Casual games with five dollars. Thanks, dude. Thanks. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> uh, so, I think everything's looking good. Everything's set up. So co-streaming means basically I have their stream from Twitch in my video. So instead of watching their stream without commentary, the, the the brilliant commentary of Zach Scott Games, you can watch it with the brilliant commentary of Zach Scott Games. <laughs> so that's how it works. And the countdown, I mean, we're almost here. We're like, we're like five, five, four, three. The music is getting scary. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna be watching this with you guys. I'll try not to, okay, rated. It's going to be mature. <laughs> Everyone knows. Here we are, guys. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today, and welcome to our Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, here to give you a closer look into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things awesome. off with some brand new content and an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay that you do not want to miss. So without further ado, let's get started. 
I'm ready. <laughs> It's a world premiere. Hey now, think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know, we hardly talk about anything else. Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him... No, Mother Miranda. Yes, of course, I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't let you down. So Ethan was from Resident Evil Can someone 7. someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. sexy. Yeah, Jordan, some Resident Evil 4 wow. vibes for wow. sure. For sure. There you are. So how do they know Ethan? <laughs> <laughs> and now you can see the eight within the village, right? Who the fuck are you? Yeah. Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. <laughs> it almost has like some magical components to it, like levitating objects. That was amazing, but I still have so many questions. Like, when can I pre-order this thing? Perhaps producer Pete Fabiano has some answers for us. Let's see what he has to say. Come on, Pete, tell us when can we pre-order this thing? Hey everyone, I'm Pete Fabiano, producer on Resident Evil Village. When we first announced Resident Evil Village back in June, we only mentioned PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, and PC. I'm happy to announce we've been working hard to bring the survival horror experience onto current generation consoles as well. Resident Evil Village will also be coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One, day and date with next gen. Who has the those PS4 anymore? The PS4 version can be upgraded for free to the digital PS5 version. And Just the kidding. Xbox One version gives you free access to the game on Xbox Series X through smart delivery. It's also my pleasure to tell you exactly when you can get your hands on the game. Resident Evil Village will be available May 7th. worldwide on May 7th, 2021, with pre-orders kicking off today. All right, so this summer. Alongside the standard edition, we have a few other options for the game. First, we have Digital Deluxe Edition, <laughs> available on all platforms. Uh. Players will be able to heighten their survival horror experience with extra content, including in-game items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. There's also a Collector's Edition for consoles that includes all Oof. the Deluxe Edition content, as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield. A box. A steelbook case, poster, and art book. And for those of you Over who haven't the played the previous entry, we have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7. Biohazard Bundle. So that's kind of cool. Let you get your hands on the award-winning RE7 while you wait for Resident Evil Village. Pre-order any of these editions, and you'll be able to get your hands on both the Mr. Raccoon weapon <laughs> accessory and their survival resource pack, which will offer additional support during the first few hours of gameplay. Finally, digital pre-orders from the PlayStation Store. <laughs> even even comes with a gun. <laughs> Resident Evil Village mini soundtrack. Comes with a real gun, guys. No. Not really. All right, I've been waiting for this. I know you've been waiting for this. 
it's time for the world premiere first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. All right. Alongside this first look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. Let's on, take Pete. a look. Let's do it. Pete Fabio. He's a hunk. Now we're here to give you an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Caption on a PS5. Just That's like cool. in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. Almost like a direct sequel. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. As you've noticed by now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first person perspective. That was found in seven. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is a direct follow up of Resident Evil 7, which is pretty cool. Like, you know, two and three, they kind of take place in the same area, but it wasn't like a direct follow up. It's kind of like of those a little details come to life here. Kind of like a side story almost. The team put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. From art design to technology, everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. <laughs> now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. Whoa. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she likes. She's into man blood. <laughs> All right, this is. Uh... Ah, now, let's take a look at him. This is my fantasy, well, by the way. Well, Ethan Winters. <laughs> to be. You escaped. My one. Little brother's idiot games, <laughs> did you? Let's see how special you are. All right. Shifting gears a bit. We're finally going to show off some combat. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the There's, game. Are there swords in this game? <laughs> oh, or axes? Yeah, grab the axe, dude. Each type of enemy ah. has their own distinct way of fighting. Dude, so that guy is huge. Strategy to defeat them. Oh Everyone my knows what to do with red barrels, right? Shoot him directly, please. Thank you. Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident Evil Four. Hey! This time around, we've added crafting. Resident Evil Four with crafting items such as first aid and ammo. I don't know if I, I don't know about the crafting, but hey, Resident Evil Four. There's also an assortment of weapons to find and utilize throughout the game. They're bringing back the weapon management of Resident Evil 4. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Resident Evil 4. I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. <laughs> How do you know this? my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant <laughs> makes a return. This time he's the known merchant. as the Duke. That's not the same guy, is he's it? He's <laughs> going to him to buy and sell weapons, amongst other things. Okay. I mean, I like the- The director the wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's, he's a an interesting fella. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> Bit of a step down from the previous merchant. <laughs> Smash away with your trusty knife. There's plenty of items to find in your travel. Why would you use a knife to break a vase? That's what I always wondered about this game. Wait, do you hear that? And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. Like shooting the goats. Of course it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve for players to move forward. They all got booms. All the puzzles have booms. Oh, and uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. I don't know about this. What is this, a locust woman? Ew. Oh, no. I haven't cut open a man in a while. 
<laughs> She's really into cutting men. Slice your jugular and just walk. Oh my god. This is a really trippy game. It seems even less rooted in like the whole zombie well, thing. That's one way to end the video. Now that we've shown you what's in store for Resident Evil Village, let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation 5 demo. Ooh, a demo for PS5. What's Maiden? Is it called Maiden? You start as a Maiden in prison, escape the dungeon. I'm just throwing out words this here demo, now. Players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Unlike the actual game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. Good. I don't want it to do anything except for walk. Walking simulator time, please. All right, I'm sold. I'll play the demo. We're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to yeah, when find is the, a way out of the castle. When does it come out? And you can download the exclusive oh, demo on PlayStation today. 5 today. Today. Of course, we want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. So we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms ready for sometime this spring. All right, so should I just jump this into that today? The 25th anniversary of the Resident <laughs> Evil franchise. Should I live stream that it's today? The very first game releasing in Japan back on March 22nd, 1996. Since then, the series has expanded well beyond the realm of video games. From toys and board games to CG movies to live action Here's Hollywood Ursa. films, Resident Evil has become a cultural icon. Resident Evil continues to offer surprises around every corner, so let's pass it along to producer Tsuyoshi Kanda to hear more about what you can expect in 2021. All right. Earlier this month, we started inviting players to join a Claus beta test. The test won't happen until later next week, but I want to use this chance to reveal more details. With the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd, we are excited to celebrate this milestone with our fans. Last September, we showed off a piece Dude, of Dude, if they announced the re if they showed some of Resident Evil iconic characters, I don't to mean to interrupt the him, but if they showed a Resident Evil 4 remake today, I'd be to thrilled. Announce what was behind that? Let's take a look. What do what, what you watch? I wasn't listening. <laughs> Bell shaded game. What the heck is this? Okay. Reverse. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, of course, we recognize the police station here. Is this just like a giant brawl in the mansion that cell shaded? <laughs> huh. Our reverse is one of the ways we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise. <laughs> Resident Evil Battle Royale. so many of the characters that fans love. It'll be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village. So be sure to follow the Resident Evil social channels for the hmm. latest news. And check out the official website for even more details. On behalf of Massive Entertainment and Ubisoft, congratulations to the Resident Evil team on their 25th anniversary. We can't wait to get our hands on our reverse. For the occasion, we are bringing the celebration to our game, Tom Clancy's The Division 2. For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the original Resident Evil trilogy. Everyone that logs in during the event will get Leon Kennedy's Raccoon Police Department outfit as a warm-up. Now let's have a look at some of these. Okay, like... I've never played this game before. <laughs> so, like, what, Division? Is that what? Division 2. So, some Resident Evil characters are going to be in Division 2. That's pretty cool for those of you who have played that, but I've never played the Division series in my life. So, <laughs> wait, wait, what's that? 
バイオハザードの映像作品にてプロデュースされていますカプコンの小林さんです。Let's say that was 昨年発表しましたフル 3DCG アニメーションバイオハザードインフィニットダークネスについてお話したいと思います。ゲームでおなじみのレオンとクレアが活躍する物語となっております。Leon. えー、Leon's 感じかバイオハザード方の後の数年後のお話となっておりまして、<笑> looks... えー、レオンがスーツ姿で、ドラマで同時事件に巻き込まれます。この作品はですね、えー、Netflix にて全世界、えー、配信になりますので。皆さんお楽しみください。Okay, so it'll be on Netflix. I, I hear that you know, there's going to be a Resident Evil series well, on Netflix. Well, a lot's been happening, and I hope you enjoyed watching. But if you missed anything along the way, don't worry.、Done? Keep an eye on the Resident Evil social channels and official website, which will be sharing everything from today's show. As a quick reminder, Resident Evil Village is available for pre order starting today for、right. the PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox One, and Steam for PC. And don't forget, PlayStation 5 owners get a sneak peek through downloadable content available worldwide starting today. It has been an absolute honor to celebrate the amazing Resident Evil leading up to its 25th anniversary with all of you across the globe. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and thank you so much for watching. Thanks, Until Brittany. Until next time. Okay, so this was a much shorter stream than I thought it was going to be. I didn't really pay attention to like, the specs or whatnot. But I do,、uh, pre ordered today, I do have. Uh, like, they gave me like a sheet of things. Let's see. I think, I think the stream's over, basically. But、uh, I do have kind of like a branded talking points. <laughs> so,、uh, let's see. So, Evolution of Survival Horror is defining franchise horror meets action. As you fight to unravel the mystery behind Chris Redfield's betrayal in this fast paced single player campaign, new standard for graphics and enter the photo realistic world of Village, where market leading graphics enhance your action horror experience at every turn.、Um, so, yeah, I mean, that was pretty interesting, right? Yeah, Jordan in the comments says it's interesting. Thank you guys for being here.、Um, so, yeah, my personal thoughts I thought it had a lot of, I mean, just the Village itself. Kind of looked a little bit like Resident Evil 4 ish, and then they also have a merchant and an inventory system similar to Resident Evil 4. I wish they would bring back like the, the actual merchant from Resident Evil 4, but I mean, I don't know if they, they would even need to explain it, you know, because like so much already seems unexplained. Like, what is this castle? Who are these people in the castle? Why is it so like supernatural as opposed to more grounded in like zombie type stuff?、Uh, I just don't know. I don't know. But hey, hey, that was pretty fun to stream. I, I'm pretty sure it's over. So we're going to end the stream. I'm gonna check out this Resident Evil demo thing, maybe live stream that. I don't know if it'll be a live stream or a video, but we'll see. Don't kick your face, Ursa. <laughs> but hey, thanks for being here、uh, for the stream. I, I, had, I had a lot of fun. I, I, I like、uh, short streams, so <laughs> 20 minute stream, pretty good for me. And、uh, let me know in the comments if you're gonna be pre ordering yours. I'm, I, don't, I don't know if I'll pre order it because they tend to always give me codes. <laughs> So, but you should pre order it. And、uh, so, yeah. And、uh, you, yeah, thank you for being here.、Uh, how do I. What is this? How do I. Well, let me open. Let me see something here. I have.、Uh, they gave me some codes. If you have a PS4 or PS5. You can enter these codes and unlock an avatar. So, I don't know. Here are 20 codes.、Uh, I don't know how to do this. I'm not prepared. Just, I don't know. <laughs> I have 20 codes, but how do I. Here, let me see. I, I have more than that, but I don't know. Okay, let's see. There we go. Oh, this is too long. Let me do let me do 10 at a time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10、uh, boom. Those are 10 codes.、Uh, but man, so they, why is there not a space between them? They, they, there was a space, but then they close up the space. But basically, there's a space between, between those. <laughs> so, good luck parsing that out. <laughs>
there's a space between those. Um, anyway, thanks for being here. Uh, yeah, maybe here's what I'll do. I'll give them on my my community tab and my Discord. So split them up between there. So go check those out. Join my Discord. Uh, it's discord.gg/slash Zach Scott Games. Thanks for being here. I'll, I'll definitely check out uh, playing the 